Um, it feels kind of, you know, it feels kind of wrong to call this a column because it's so much more massive than that. It feels like a wall almost. Um, but this right here was originally called a volcano, the volcano. Um, obviously, it looks kind of like a volcano, but we changed the name in 1912 to the iceberg. Can anyone guess why? Uh, yeah. We thought it would be so cool to jump on the bandwagon and be like, well, we have an iceberg here. <laughs> it's so dangerous and neat. Um, <laughs> I thought it was very interesting, but you can see some of these pools. This one is one that stays filled. This one has actually started draining over the past few weeks. Now, it's possible that it just didn't get enough water and everything is starting to drip to this side more, or something could have broken in the bottom and then started draining out. But yeah, this area, I'm sure it goes further back. We don't step on that. It's just really cool to see the crevices as they go. Um, but if anybody wanted to take your pictures, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to take a second here? Um, we're about to head back out of the cave. We're going to have to dip our heads again. Oh, and so I don't forget, as you go out, if you have a strong flashlight, way back in this crevice, there's something that looks kind of like a porcelain angel. That is one spot where only calcite drips. And we call her just our, our guardian angel. She, she watches that little spot. But yeah, if you have a strong flashlight, you can definitely see it a, be a bit better right before you go under the ledge. So we'll step right out here. And just remember, follow the person in front of you so you don't step in the water.